Hello viewers, this is Adam Bastard here, and in today's early morning Nintendo news video, this this video's topic, we talk about how Mario Kart partial, partially influenced Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, and for questions, and possibly people were asking for the new for this game, where is Rayman? Because people wonder, but so it shows Mario and Rabbits, but well, where the heck is Rayman? Because you know, Rayman always appears with a rabbit, so where is he out of all things? We're gonna get all the information in this bit in this article, we're gonna learn how Mario Kart inf partially influenced this game. Because as you know, if, if a game has a market influence, then, I'm, then that's I'm bis that's I'm this much sold. So without further delay, let's get to the article, and don't you worry, I'm, my gaming videos shall return today, so let's get to the article first, shall we? The article on NeetoNoReads.com starts off with, Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle takes inspiration from all sorts of games and sources. Among these was actually Mario Kart. Although the two are, compl are, are in completely different games, creative director Davide Soliani mentioned to Game Informer that the team wanted to translate that action into the Switch game. David said the following when asked how Mario Rabbit sets itself apart from and from other strategy titles. Since the very beginning, when we started to transform this game, we wanted to come up with something that was totally new. If we were going to propose to Nintendo, we had, we knew we had to have something that that we weren't that we're not used to or that they weren't already doing. So we started with the intention of saying we should renew the genre a little bit. We thought that tactical games are known to be slow paced and they tend to be a little niche. So why not try to have something very dynamic and colorful and fast paced? That's why our first reference is Mario Kart. How cool would it be to try that tr to translate that kind of action into the combat of our game? Compared to a lot of other tactical games, you see enemies taking cover and the heroes are doing the same. And they're both shooting at each other, but they're not moving much. In our game, the AI is coming towards you, so you must react to the situation. And the action is focused on moving around the battlefield. Soliani was also asked by Game Informer if Rayman was ever considered for the game. It was discussed, though ultimately the team believed that the strength of the rabbits is that they were a white canvas, so you can do pretty much whatever you want. Uh, Soli Soliani explained, We discussed it, but honestly, we thought that the strength of the rabbits is that they are white canvas, so you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can come up with crazy ideas, and they work. We, t we tried to bring that same spirit into this game. Mr. Miyamoto kept saying, Show me your colors. Show me your rabbit's humor even more. Show me how crazy you can be. Of course, Rayman was part of the rabbit's games in the past. But now those are two separate universes. So now you know the truth how Mario influenced the game and why Rayman, Rayman is absent. Because yeah, I know Rayman was part of the Rabbids games in the past, but but now these but now that these two games are now that now Mario and Rabbids are basically much two separate universes, Mario and the Mario the Mario universe and the Rabbit universe crossing over. But what you're gonna do? Cause I also I have no idea how Rayman would even tie in. I don't know how Rayman would, would help Mario and the rabbits. That's the hard part. I don't know to you how what he could do. Since he, they didn't want to control. Cause you'd be controlling Mario, Luigi, Peach, Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, the four Mario rabbits, Mario rabbit, Luigi rabbit, Peach rabbit, and Yoshi rabbit. That's eight or that's eight characters already. And putting nine to Rayman, who knows what he would, who knows what he have done. But now you know, I, now you know the true information. Thank you so much for watching this early Nintendo news video. I'll see you guys later. Take care.